and the farmer chaired and the boat cat paid, but the lady bear says never alone. <laughs> First we cut out a big circle which is the back of the lady bed. You can use the round object to cut out your circle or you can cut it this way. So I fold the paper into four and I mark out seven centimeters which is the radius of the circle and I cut it out. Next, we cut out the base of the ladybird, which is the body and its head. So, as you can see here, I'm using a circular object, and this circle is going to be smaller than the first circle I made. So, and I'm going to attach the head together with this. So, the next step. Uh, I'm going to be cutting out the legs so the kids are already getting bored they are not doing anything so they are going to be cutting out the legs and the, of the ladybird and some other parts of the ladybird so I'm just making the pattern for the legs so it will be easier for them to cut it out the lines I cut out is about 2 cm each so you can see the way I cut out the lines. I'm going to glue that together to form a kind of cone shape, as you can see in the video. I glue both sides, so this will make the back of the ladybird and give it that really like shape. So, but before I glue it together or use my stapler to attach it together I'm going to fix the legs to get the legs in the right places Time to make the wings. The wings, we use the red color paper to make the wings. So I'm just going to draw out a wing like shape. There's no particular shape or so. So I put my paper into two. I'm drawing a wing, a wing like shape of a ladybird. How a ladybird thing should look like, I think. And um, so you know, the ladybird color is black and red. So I'm just going to draw out a wing and cut it to fit the back of the ladybird. 